Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. Today we've got an unboxing and a glowing thing over here. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what makes it sometimes look awesome and you can see the spam poster and other times it's just all glowy and bright. I have no idea what the deal is. So, uh, there's no windows in my office so it's not like it's the time of day or something that affects it. So I have no clue. So sorry about that big ball of light. Anyway, we got a pretty hefty unboxing today, so let's just dive in real quick. I don't know what this thing is. It's called a race. It's a clear thing and a DVD and a pen. I, I think it's by um, a consulting by Michael Shatlin, uh, Julianne Arl Arlandis. I have no idea who that is. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just seeing what the heck that's all about. Um, very exciting here. We've got... Fractalicious. I've actually already gotten a copy of this and reviewed it and gave it a great rating. I, I don't remember if it was four and a half or five, but it was up there. So you know what that means. Whenever I get an extra product, you guys get it. So this is somebody right now who's watching. This will be yours or somebody who's reading on my site. Um, all you got to do to get it, sign up for my, my uh, Magic Review newsletter. Just go over to the magicreview.com, click on the free magic tab. And put your name, your email address in there, and then every month when we do the drawings, this will be one of the monthly drawings. I don't think it'll be this month, but probably next month. Anyway, Fractalicious, excellent product. Uh, then we got um, the Heinous Collection, which is, uh, I think this is Carl Heinz thing. Um, so it might be called the Heinous Commercial co Collection, but it's false cuts. And shuffles volume one, two, and three. There's three of them there, um, but doesn't say who it's from on here. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is Carl Hein, so it's probably the Heinous collection. Anyway, that is uh, Carl Hein. I like Carl Hein. I like his stuff. Smart guy. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, boy, this thing looks like it's been sitting in a warehouse for ten years. Uh, spontaneous combustion. Imagine yourself producing such heat with your hands that you can burn through a deck of cards to find the selected card. Sounds fascinating. I'll tell you if it is or not. Um, a study in secrets presents something. I don't even know. It doesn't have a title. Uh, three secrets, I guess. By Vanish Inc. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sorry. I do know Vanish Inc. Vanishing Inc. Uh, does usually put out some pretty good stuff. Uh, so uh, here's one from my uh, Cameron Francis, the Wallet Transformer. Um, it's done by Big Blind Media. I'm reading it. It's an ingenious gimmick that turns any normal wallet into a signed card to wallet utility. That sounds kind of cool. Um, it's pretty thin, so something that's in here can fit in your wallet, which is cool because I actually don't have, I don't own a card to wallet. I mean, I do, but I don't use any of them. They're ones I've gotten for review. So it'd be kind of nice to turn my wallet into a card to wallet. Um, then we got us a book today, uh, Flown Away, by Paul Romani and Jasper Blakely. Very cool. Those guys are both working pros, so that ought to be a pretty decent book. Um, this is the packing slip from Murphy's. It's two pages. So much stuff we got here. Uh, another book, real quick. We got... Um, Calculated Chaos, Chris Westfall, by also another Vanishing Ink publication. And we've got, oh, you know what? I actually saw this online. This looked pretty interesting. Uh, True Mysteries. So I'm glad I got my hands on one of these. Um, I've been getting a lot of books lately, and you'll notice I haven't reviewed too many books. Uh, books just take more time to read. Um, and so uh, what I'm going to do, actually, in uh, maybe a week or two, I'm going to have a book week where everything I review that week is going to be books. I'm just going to try to chip away at this huge stack of books I've got. So hopefully in another week or two, we'll have uh, maybe about 10 book reviews that week. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, that's all the books for this one. Now we've got um, some Sans Mind stuff here. we got Foresight. Incidentally, uh, Sans Minds, I just got a uh, Facebook private message from Will Sai, and uh, he corrected a mistake I'd been making. The guy that's been, that performs in a lot of the Sans Minds videos, I thought that was Will Sai. Turns out that's not Will Sai. Will Sai pretty much is not in any of their videos. He's just sort of uh, 
part of the production team or a creative consultant or even if the effect is one he created he's not on the video performing it so any of my past videos where I said Will Sy was doing this or that you can totally disregard that it was not Will Sy so I don't know who Will Sy is then anyway Foresight Sands Minds um, this one I'm really looking forward to uh, it's a four DVD set uh, these these ones from um, Essential Magic Collection are usually really good um, the problem is it's four discs and it takes a while to watch them. Um, but this is uh, Bravura, by Bravura, I guess is how you say that, by Paul Daniels. Um, if you haven't read The Genie, uh, April 2014, if you don't have a copy of that, go get it. There's an excellent ar um, article and feature story on, on Paul Daniels. It's awesome. It's a very inspiring story. So check that out if you don't have that. Uh, moving on, we've got Dario Capuzzo's. Uh, this... Uh, this is no ordinary TNR. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, this is a Titanus Magic pres uh, Presents. And uh, generally speaking, stuff that Titanus puts out is pretty solid. Uh, there's been a few stinkers, but not, not too many. Um, we got another wallet, it looks like. And then I'm pretty sure there's a wallet in here. I can feel it. Uh, the Undercover Wallet by Andy Nichols. Uh, man, I got a lot of stuff here. I'm excited to read, uh, watch this stuff. Keep Calm and Carry On by John Kerry. Uh, John Kerry um, is like me in the naming of his videos. All my videos do some sort of play on my name, Stone, and he's doing that with his name, Kerry. Stone Cold Magic, Gemstones. Anyway, um, The Evolution of Card Manipulation. This ought to be fun. These are the kind of things that um, looks like it's teaching some... Oh, it's kind of cool. It's got... Four or five basic techniques, four or five moderate techniques, and four or five advanced techniques. So that that ought to be pretty good. Then this, I've been seeing this on the, the banner at murphysmagic.com for a, quite a while. Uh, Trickopolis. Quick tricks for real people in the real world with Tony Curtis. So that's kind of cool. I, that's, that's my kind of um, magic is stuff that's real people in the real world, stuff I can carry on, carry around with me even if I'm not like doing a show or whatever. So I'm hoping that's pretty good. Uh, we've got an man, what is it with wallets? We got another one. Uh, maybe I'll do a wallet week. Uh, wallet weapon by Lloyd, Bar Lloyd Barnes, an incredible card to wallet and powerful utility device. So I wonder if this is, sounds like the same thing as Cameron Francis, uh, something that turns your wallet into a device. So uh, that's interesting. We'll see if there's a overlap there. Wow, Matthew Beach. What's with him and his rainbow cards? And he's always doing these colorful card little packet tricks. Anyway, most of his stuff's really good though. So Matthew Beach, Rainbow Connection. Uh, looking forward to that one. Time is Money by Sol Ha Park. I think is the name there. Looks uh, looks like a Korean name. Anyway, Time is Money. Looks like some uh, revolutionary Bill Magic with extreme visuals. That's exciting. I don't have a lot of Bill Magic in my repertoire, and I'd like to get some because I, I've mentioned this before. Basically, my show is in my wallet, and I don't do shows I do anymore. I, I kind of stopped doing that a while ago. Now I mostly do casual stuff, but I do have like a, a half an hour show in my wallet, and it's just for casual settings when the conversation um, leads to that or whatever. And I'll pull out my wallet and do a couple of things. So I'd like to have some build work in there. So hopefully there's some good stuff on there. Um, the Magic Bakery, man. I didn't even know they were still making stuff. Uh, hopefully there's a real wooden... In fact, I'm going to find out. All the Magic Bakery products, they come with a wooden nickel inside their their uh, DVDs. I used to do that. I don't know if they still do it. So we're going to find out right now. Live. On the air. Sort of. Bam. Check it out. A wooden nickel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, so the works. Um, Steve Dobson's works. Oh, do you know what? Huh. I think I already have this. I wonder if they, re they reproduced it or went from uh, VHS to DVD or something. So I think I've already even reviewed this. I'll, I'll look. If I have, I'll put a link to that in the description below. And if I have, that means you guys get that copy. So that might be two giveaways here. Moving on, we got uh, uh, Perseus Archimanus, Archimanus Light Speed, produced by Alakazam. Uh, this is a weird DVD cover because the front looks like a back and the back looks like a back. It's weird. It's all backs right there. 
Anyway, Alakazam, typically top-notch stuff. Uh, we got another Sands Mines here, which is uh, Love. I've seen the trailer for this. This looks pretty cool. Um, it's the, as you can see, the cards change into the spell the word love. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that effect that uh, R. Paul Wilson did where, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it was the uh, same type of thing where you flick the cards and they would change. It was the one that was featured in that movie with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Oh, man, I was not prepared to tell you all this stuff, guys. Sorry. Um, I know you guys know what movie I'm talking about. I'll put a link below. That's what I'll do. Uh, Melanie Griffith and Sylvester Stallone was in it. And uh, it was about gambling. I can't remember the name of it, man. What's up? Anyway, Kiernan Johnson. Free a Kappa. Free a Kept. Big Blind Media. Uh, I've reviewed a product from uh, Kieran and Johnson. Or Kieran, I guess it's Kieran Johnson. And uh, he's crazy, man. He's like goes all over the place. Kind of, uh, but his, his DVD was pretty good. So um, this is done by Big Blind Media, which is usually a good sign. So hopefully this one's pretty solid. Um, oh, crap. Dang it. We can this is called Cap Soul by Big Blind Media. And why am I saying crap? Because look who's on the cover. That's Chris from Sans Minds. And that guy is annoying. If you watch my last two reviews from Sans Minds, one's called Pocket, one's called Exchange. He's the host, and he makes the DVDs almost unbearable to watch. So hopefully the method and the effect and everything, it makes it worth getting through him. Um... And I just hope he's not hosting this video because that's going to be a bummer. Uh, another Sans Mines, Propel. I actually just got a request today to review this. So this one's going to the top of the list. Uh, Propel, I'll be reviewing that soon. I don't even know. If, I think that's the one with the moving ink. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, moving on. This I've seen this on Murphy's Forever. This is also Magic Bakery. And I hear the wooden nickel in there. This is called Totally Whacked. Yeah, I had a dream actually, Not, no kidding, a friend of mine in the dream, um, his face looked like this in the dream. He'd gotten beaten up or something weird and that's how he looked after he got beat up. It was freaky weird, weird. Anyway, uh, it's scary in there guys. Oh, uh, what the fork? Uh, oh, you know what, I was just on the phone with uh, Xavier Spade last night and he was telling me about this product, asking me about it. And here it is. I didn't even realize I had it. So What the Fork by uh, Michael Darden. I guess Michael Darden was a student of uh, Xavier's, I think, or at least a friend of his anyway. Um, so hopefully this is pretty good. Um, I've reviewed a couple System 6 pres Presents products, and got to be honest, I haven't been entirely impressed, but there's been some decent stuff. So we'll see. Reserving judgment till I actually watch it. And uh, Blind Date by Stephen Lathwaite. Um, a Game of Chance. Will you find love at first sight? Wow. This is a pick up chicks kind of a trick or what? I don't know, but there's people in hot tubs back there. All right. And last but not least, Magic Tau. Uh, it is one can, two drinks. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. You pour the complete contents of a can into a glass. The can is now empty. You then place a straw on the can, take a sip just to make sure. In fact, the can is not empty. It now contains a completely different liquid! Exclamation point. Pour this new liquid into a glass to amaze spectators. That's kind of a cool effect. Let's hope that the method's good and that the production quality is good. I've had issues with Magic Tile Productions before. Um, I actually got a, an email from one of the guys on the staff there at Magic Tile. Uh, with my last review of um, Gary Jones's uh, Noted 2.0, the audio was terrible. Turns out they had a bad batch of uh, audio problems or whatever. So they're supposedly sending me another one. If I get the other one and the audio's better, I'll actually change the review. It'll be a better review. Anyway, that is the list, guys. That's a big stack of stuff. As always, what do you want me to review first? Put it in the description below, in the YouTube description below. And don't post... I'm, these videos are going to wind up all over the internet, on Facebook, Twitter, and that kind of stuff. Don't post your requests there. Please just post them on the actual YouTube video. Uh, that way they're all in one place, and I can, as soon as I review it, I can reply to your comment with the link to the review and everything. Whew! That's the list, guys. 
Uh, let's take a look at the random iTunes song of the moment today. We've got... Oh, I just bought this today. Sweet. You guys might recognize this if you're Metallica fans. That's um, Master of Puppets, which is a Metallica tune. That's a great album, too, Master of Puppets. But this is Apocalyptica. It's a cello band, and it's a four-man cello band, and there it's they, they did a uh, tribute to Metallica. They got several different tunes on there. I used to have a CD years ago, and I lost it, and then I just decided today on a whim to buy it. It's only like 8 bucks on iTunes. I'll put a link to that uh, in case you're interested in buying it. I don't get any residual or any money from it or whatever, but... It's a cool album. Anyway, um, this uh, it's it's amazing how many different people have interpreted Metallica stuff. I've, I've mentioned to you I've got orchestras on there. I've got string quartets. I've got piano um, uh, interpretations. I've got um, Celtic interpretations. I've got bluegrass interpretations of Metallica. Uh, but this uh, Apocalyptica is a great album. It's really, really good stuff. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling. This is video is almost 17 minutes long, so I'm going to shut up and post it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace and out.